Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be explaining you about depth clipping in Revit. Let's continue with the video. To understand depth clip, please watch this video till the end. So what am I going to do now? So I'm going to create a new project. Let's go to project, select any template and I can give you OK. OK, so this is your level one. So here in the project we have two levels. I'm going to level two. So let's keep this is not the view. Let's close that. I am in level two. Let's go to 3D view and keep the 3D view and plan side by side. view category I don't want to see that so I have hidden let me try a small wall here you can see I have drawn a wall and this wall let's consider that this wall is starting from level 1 I'm going to change base constraint to level 1 okay and this wall top constraint is un unconnected and this is going till the height of 8 meter so if I take a dimension I can type di or I can go to annotate so we are in 3d view that's why I'm unable to activate annotate let's go to any section I am in plan now. Let's take a section. Right click, go to view. So I have the wall here. This is my plan. This is my plan, this is my section. And this is my wall. I don't see any cut pattern here. Let me set some cut pattern for this plan. Let's keep this view detail to fine mode and go to visibility graphics and select wall and give cut pattern some hatch now you can see the wall hatch you can see now I'm going to be explaining you what is view range to understand depth clipping you need to understand the view range so for this plan I have the view range here if you click here so this is going to show you the view range property so I have the wall so this is our level 2 plan so this is our level 2 so here cut plane is above level 2 1200 mm and the bottom set to level 2 offset 0 so here if you extend you can see so this is your cut plane and this is your bottom basically it is covering from level 2 to level 2 bottom I can show you here let me take a detail line for example I'm cutting the wall here above level 2 1200 mm I'm cutting the wall here and I'm seeing from top I'm seeing from top and my view is still level 2 so basically I can see the wall from here to here I can see the wall from here to here 
that's it so this is my view range understanding view range is very important so I'm showing you again so if you click level 2 in the property you can see view range if you click here you can see the view range window so here you can see the cut plane so here you can read associated level 2 level 2 offset cut plane offset 1200 mm so this is the cut plane line and so I'm seeing from top I'm seeing from top in the plan and you can see my view range bottom set to zero offset that means I'm seeing the wall till level 2 only so I cannot see the entire wall so that's a concept now I'm going to change this wall to a tapered wall to change the wall to a tapered wall you should have a variable layer so I'm going to show you how for example I'm selecting the wall so here in the cross section if I select the wall property to tapered here it is showing this wall type is not compatible with the tapered cross section set a layer in the wall type to have variable thickness so I'm selecting the wall again I'm going to edit type I'm going to structure edit here structure I'm going to say variable and I'm going to say ok so now if I select the wall I can override the cross section now so now it is accepting so override type property and here exterior angle I'm going to say 110 degree now you can see the wall is changing if I give 15 degree you can see it is changing now so this is where we are cutting the wall and we are seeing till the bottom till here in the plan you can see how it looks so now I can show you depth clipping depth clipping now it is set to no clip that means I can see the entire wall till the bottom to make you understand I can draw one architecture wall for example I'm drawing here so this wall is going till the bottom okay and I'm seeing the bottom line of the wall I'm seeing the bottom line of the wall in case if I set depth clipping to clip without line here you can see the bottom line not visible and here you can see a small line is showing that means the wall is continuing but it is not showing till where it is continuing okay in case if I set depth clipping to clip with line now you can see actually it is cutting the wall and we are not seeing the entire wall but I, I can see the line where it is cutting for example if I bring the wall close to the line you can see it is cutting here you can see it is cutting till here in case if you are feeling difficulty to understand I can explain you with the cross section I believe the cross section will can explain you better okay so let's say I have a wall I have a wall like this and I'm going to move my cross section here so now you can see so this is our horizontal wall and this is our inclined wall inclined wall is going till here and it is continuing but I am not seeing any line here 
so here in the section if you select here you can see a far clip line so in section it is called as far clip in view in the plan view it is called as depth clipping so that is the only difference the concept is same so I have my cross section line this is where I'm cutting and I can see from this line to this far clip line the far clip line distance you can adjust you can see here far clip offset you can give a value here 4 meter or you can use this handle to reduce or increase so here we are cutting the clip without line that means so I'm seeing the wall but I don't see the end of the wall in case if you want to see the end of the wall you have to select power clipping and set to clip with line now I can see the wall edge but this is not the full wall in case if you want to see the full wall for example to understand the difference I'm going to annotate detail line so this is where I see the line now what I'm going to do so in the I'm going to select the section in far clipping click here and say no clip now you can see the full wall in the section I hope now you have understood depth clipping and far clipping thanks for watching my video thank you bye bye